Hello friends, welcome to the next video lecture as far as our heat transfer course is concerned. Up till now, in the last video lecture, what we have considered, we have considered the general heat conduction equation and that equation we have deduced into different number of forms, okay? That may be Poisson's equations, that may be Laplace equation, that may be Fourier's equation and so on. That may be two-dimensional equation, that may be steady-state heat conduction equation or that may be one-dimensional heat conduction equation. In today's lecture, what we are going to do, we are going to discuss very important point as far as how this temperature is distributed across these element of this what we can say simple plate okay as well as how we can calculate the heat transfer by using the general law of heat conduction. How we can calculate how much is the amount of heat transfer through that material as well as how temperature is distributed along these two faces. For that let us consider a plate which is having two surfaces. This space is at temperature T1, this space is at temperature T2. And by using electrical analogy here we have prepared thermal circuit as well. This RTH is nothing but thermal resistance which is offered by this material having thermal conductivity K. Now, from that general heat conduction equation, what I can write? Easily I can write del square T plus QG upon K is equal to 1 upon alpha into dou capital T upon dou small t. In last video lecture only, we have reached up to this equation. If you have missed that lecture, the link of that lecture you can find in the description box. You can go ahead go over there and you can check it out okay now next what we are going to say we are going to have some assumptions and which are those assumptions first is nothing but the heat transfer is a steady state means what i can say there is no change in temperature with respect to change in time means flow by dot t is equal to zero and the second one that is nothing but there is no internal heat generation means QG is equal to zero. Let us call this as equation number A. Therefore, what that equation A will become? Huh? Del square T is equal to zero. As there is no internal heat generation, QG is equal to zero, this term will become zero. And it is a steady state heat conduction means this dou T upon dou small t is equal to zero. Or in simple terms, what we can write dou square t upon dou x square is equal to 0 or else also we can write dou square t upon dou y square is equal to 0 or dou square t upon dou z square is equal to 0. And when deriving this equation, what we have considered? We have considered very small volume element okay, which is having thickness dx, dy, dz. I will not go into that. Okay, if you want a detailed explanation, what you can do, you can go in the description box and check it out of the video link of last lecture. Okay, so what you can do, you can see it. So here we will stick to the x direction only or we will assume that heat is transferred in this x direction only. That's why I can consider dou square t upon dou x square. And here we have considered a small element. Consider Let us consider this entire plate for that what we can write. Instead of considering the partial derivatives, here I can consider the total derivatives. So that that equation will be d square t upon dx square is equal to 0. Let us call this as equation number 1. Okay? Now, for this entire plate, how we can calculate the temperature distribution equation? First point, what we are going to calculate? We are going to calculate temperature distribution equation for that what we are going to do we are going to integrate this equation number one now after first integration what i will get is square t upon dx square is equal to zero okay go on integrating what i will get as a result of integration i will get dt upon dx and here one constant let us see it as a c1 go on simplification i will get dt is equal to C1 into D. So go on further integration. Jab tak hume yaha pe T or X ke terms mein kuch nahi mil jata, tab tak hume jo temperature distribution equation hai, we will not reach up to that point. 
so go on further integrating what i will get here t1 sorry only t i will get that is equal to and here integration of c c1 as it is constant and integration of dx will be x plus second constant that is nothing but c2 let us call this as the equation number 2 if i will get the values of this c1 and c2 easily what i can have i can have the temperature distribution equation means here how that temperature is distributed along the plate easily we can calculate now in order to calculate those two constants okay see here how we can calculate c1 and c2 here i can say that this thickness is nothing but l okay and here i can write x is equal to 0 and here i can write x is equal to to this space i am assuming x is equal to 0 to this surface i am assuming x is equal to a we are having two boundary conditions and which are those two boundary conditions i can write here and x is equal to 0 check it out how much is the value of temperature at x is equal to 0 temperature is t similarly At x is equal to L, what is value of temperature? That has to be T2. At x is equal to L, temperature is T2. Now go on putting these two boundary conditions in equation number two. On first putting first boundary condition, क्या मिलेगा हमें? At x is equal to zero, T is equal to T1, C1 into zero plus C2. Therefore, what I can write? C2 is equal to T1. Okay? This is nothing but what value of C2. Similarly, put the second boundary condition in equation number two. Therefore, equation number two will be from from at x is equal to L, T is equal to T2 is equal to C1 L plus C2. But I mean, but ah, C2 is nothing but what T1 C1 L plus T1. Therefore, C1 is equal to T2 minus T1 upon Yeah. Okay. Now here, what we are going to do? We are going to put the values of C1 and C2 in equation number two. Okay. Therefore, equation number two will become what I can write. T is equal to what is my job C1? T2 minus T1 divided by L. Yeah. This is nothing but what C1 into x. Plus C2 is how much? T1. Go on simplifying it. What I will get? T minus T1 divided by T2 minus T1 is equal to x upon y. This is nothing but what? The temperature distribution equation is for as this plane wall is concerned. So यहाँ पे क्या कर सकते हैं हम? मान लीजिए कि हमें यहाँ पे at distance of x is equal to let us assume that x is equal to 1 cm to agar mujhe 1 cm mein kitna temperature hai us plane wall ke andar wo agar mujhe calculate karna hai then what i can have here by value of x i can put as a 1 cm this total thickness might be given okay then the temperature of this space might also be given this space also might be given from that easily i will get the value of t This is nothing but the significance of a temperature distribution equation. Okay. In next lecture, what we will do? We will calculate the heat transfer through same plane wall. Just now, what we have reached up to? हमने यहाँ पे कैलकुलेट किया कि टेम्परेचर कैसे डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हुआ है अलोंग द प्लेट. In next video lecture, we will calculate how much is the heat transfer through this plane wall. Okay thank you thank you so much all of you for connecting with us have a great day thank you once again